Hello one for our, I guess you call it second, uh, endless heist recap. So, I sort of made a big mistake on the Guardian character. Uh, apparently, in this event, it's a really bad idea at level 50 to decide to maybe play around with skills and switch from Absolution to DB. And buying all the gems at level 1, put them in a character redo your skill tree and for some reason decide to vendor off all the absolution jewels gems i use so it was not a good idea i would definitely don't recommend it was stupid on my end and leveling up at level 50 contracts with level one gems with bad not the best gear was an absolute mess was not worth it died a lot did zero damage it was not worth playing, so I pretty much had to scrap the build and rerolled. So they finally released a patch that made everything below level 68, I believe. Give more experience, so it's a lot faster level. So I pretty much went back and forth on this. Um, I Since I did get deerskin boots on the, on the Guardian character, I decided to roll a trapper. And it's extremely easy level with this build. I think we're at... We're at 5 hours right now and we're at level 58. Not the best, but it's not bad at all. For Especially for this event. Uh, pretty much, I'm using my Gauntlet POB. The one that Darky um, pretty much leveled with in Gauntlet. I'm, using, I'm just copying the same thing. Like, our tree focuses mainly on, you know, what ga you would do in Gauntlet. A lot of life, a lot of spell suppression. Uh, pretty much... Uh, I'm going to go over my thoughts about this event at the end, but pretty much it's leveling. It's almost, it's the exact same leveling as in the last video with the Guardian, did the exact same thing. Uh, pretty much the same thing, the, um, it's easier to think. You know, the same thing, the Frost, uh, Frost Bomb, Orb of Storm combo. The Storm Blast Mine combo, exact same setup. Just run those all the way until you get your first four link on. And then once I got my first four link, I just went straight to Lightning Trap with um, with multi traps. I'm trying to remember all the gems I used. I have the POB saved, but I need to look at it. There it is. So pretty much, uh, once you get the four link, there it is. So multi traps, trap and mind, da trap and mind damage, which is level eighteen. Yeah, lightning trap and this added lightning, and it's used the wand recipe. It's pretty much the same wand recipes you use for leveling. You know, if you want to play a cold build, lightning build, fire build, just add flat to your uh, spells. By selling a wand, and then either whichever, um, if you need lightning, topaz, you know, sapphire for cold, uh, ruby for fire, whatever rarity you need. Um, white is 8, blue is 14, and rare is 20 to make the item level, or require level. And one alteration to a vendor. And it'll automatically just get upgraded like that. And you just keep upgrading it till you get to the point. It's a lot of damage. It's a lot better than the uh, white ones. But pretty much it made leveling stupid easy. Once we switched to the um, lightning trap, it got super quick. Pro leveling process didn't take long at all level. I didn't even use the, um, the uh, what, what the hell is this shit called? Um... Oh, the Flamethrower Trap, Lightning Spiral Trap. I didn't use those at all in this because you don't need it because there's no bossing at all in this event. So the trap, or Lightning Trap, pretty much cleared everything all the way up until I was able to put Deer Skin. Or, no, I got the first lab done. So at 33 is when you can switch over to um, drop the uh, Lightning Trap and go Extinguinate with Seismic Trap. If you don't have Deer Stalkers, honestly, just drop the Cluster Trap support and just run Trap support instead. It just saves you as one, um, just put it, it just goes on the boots instead of here. That's the only difference. Uh, deer stalkers do drop very common. I think it's my second pair I found. I found one on this character also. 
I mean, you can get it as random drops. Check the unique chest, the armor chest. They do drop pretty frequently. But pretty much, it's the gear is straightforward. You know, that uh, flame dash, arcane surge, with a chance to poison dagger. Uh, just rings, necklace. Most of your gear is just fixed resistance. Mine's not even capped out. Like my resistance, only one's kept out is lightning. But I'm gonna once I get to like level 65, that's when I'll actually make sure I'm, I'm over 30 on everything before we get to level 70 hit by the Katava. Uh, res penalty. But like life resistance. Plus one socket, you know you can give block, get whatever you can on it. But right now it's pretty much just skitter bots with unbound and a grace. Grace is for defensive. You don't care about going defensive, just put like Hail to Thunder on or something that for damage instead. Um, you know, Deer Stalkers, Extinguinate, Trap and Mind Damage, Chain, and then if you have Deer Stalkers, just do Cluster Trap. But it's for damage. Uh, Seismic Trap. You do get, um, Five Links pretty common once you get level 50. And you start doing the, um, Blueprints, you'll get Five Links a lot from them. Pretty much Seismic Trap, Multi Trap, Life Tap Support, Trap and Mine, and Advanced Traps. Pretty much the four link is these four. Advanced Trap is my five for now. This one was... I think it was this one. Shit. Well, so one of these wasn't... I think Advanced Trap wasn't on there originally. I think my original chess piece was a blue instead of green, and this one's corrupted. So I was using a um, Unbound uh, instead. You know, just go based on your colors. When you get six lane, you can add more stuff. You like gloves, life resistance. Make sure you get some strength somewhere because you're going to need a lot of strength for the build. So heavy belts are really good for this. You know, flask, this is based on what you can find. You know, like I got lucky and I found these three, so I'm using them. You know, like a quick silver, a sl onslaught flask, a phasing flask, which is really good for these events. Mana one, you don't need this at all. This is a wasted spot. This will probably come like maybe a Jade. I'm going to guess probably a Jade once the Jade drops because I don't think I've seen one yet. No, Aqua, Amos, Sulfur. Yeah, no Jade one yet. So like this one will, pop, will come a Jade Flask whenever you find it. How long it's going to take to find? It might be a long time. But Tree is pretty sim uh, the same as everyone's running Gauntlet. Lab 1. Lab 2, Lab 3, and then Lab 4. And leveling, it's pretty straightforward. I like one doesn't go this way. Go here, pick up the, these two life nodes. Then go over here, pick up your elemental focus to a saboteur. And then after this, I just went down this way, picked up the viper, and then the life wheel here to get the 50 more life. And then I went back up here, picked up the 20 intelligence. Shot down this way. No. Yeah. Shot, okay, I picked up that and shot down here. Pick up these three points. You don't need... And then the summon skater bots. Just to help with the mana reservation. And then I shot up this way to get the, the ghost dance. Get all the trap damage up here. Then picked up the uh, life cluster. Went back down here. Picked up the... Um, the life evasion cluster with your grace. If you want to get this early, you can, just for more reservation. You don't need it early. I just wanted more mana to play with, because I didn't really need it, to be honest, but we're just I'm trying to get in determination in, so that's why I picked up these, so I can try to play with this a little bit. Then like, eventually you can pick up this point here. You have your um, mana reservation here with the mana reserve. You know, more same thing. This is all life. Life recovery, uh, max life, reduced recovery. It's all life, pretty much. Going on this way, more life. And like once I got to this point, this is when I switched from the wand to the dagger for the 20% chance to poison. And now I'm picking up all the poison clusters. It's like you don't need to pick up any of the poison stuff until you switch over to the dagger. And then once you, like you, you know, like once we start, we're going to go, we're going to pick up like the poison wheel here. Or probably I might pick up this poison. I gotta I gotta see the POB at the end. I forgot which exactly what poison we're picking up. Like we're trying to get this one right now. 
Eventually, we're going to go up this way also. We want to get the termination on. And then pick up, like, you have your um, chaos damage here. You have your more mana reservation here. For this will help you get your determination. You need this cluster, though. Like, eventually, also get the jewel slot. We're going to go this way. Pick all points, skill up to here for more life. You have your skill effect duration. You know, resistance. Scion life. So I go, eventually we'll go this way. It's like level 80, 90 though. So it's a long way away. But I just wanted a quick update about what happened. Good also, it's one of the reasons why we didn't really do much. Okay, then. So another thing about this, this event is pretty bad to be honest. I'm not a big fan of this event. Like a lot of people are not. You can see that a lot of people are not playing this event at all. It's very boring, very repetitive. Opening doors forever is definitely not everyone's favorite thing. There was that wrong blue filter on. There you go. But yeah, I definitely don't care about this event. I don't know if I'm gonna finish the event off to be honest. But I get to like level 80. It's not that fun to play. Like my friend list went from being like a bunch of people playing this event on Friday. Once Friday finished, Saturday started. I really saw anyone playing this anymore. Like for me, I might push level 80. It just depends if I feel like it or not. It's a good go. But yeah, still SSF playing. Because pretty much I'm trying to finish my challenges also before um, Invasion starts. Or the Atlas Invasion event starts. Because once that happens, I want to play that the full week, then Delirium event the full week. And then once that's done, I'm pretty much going to be done with the league until the next league starts. So I'm trying to get everything else done. Like, I need, like, 10 more maps to finish Ritual. And I need, like, another, like, 0.8% of, like, 0.80% of the um, Blood cru Crucible to finish off to be done with all the challenges. So I have, like, roughly, like, another 80 maps left to run. So I'm trying to go some more on that instead of this. But it's pretty easy to play this if you don't want to play. Build's good. Once you get like a spell suppression shield, which you already start with, but like a better one. Spell suppression on your helmet, like better gear, six link. It's pretty easy. And if you want an easy six link, once you get to level 50, you start dropping blueprints. If you get the enchanted um, blueprint, there are some enchanted uh, chest pieces that drop um, at the end that would say that all um, all sockets are linked. Just get pick that up, and then just um, six socket it. And once you six socket, it automatically comes a free six link, which is why I'm pretty much trying to farm right now. Because like, once you get that, you just get your six link going. It's pretty easy. You know, if you're playing a melee character, you go for a me uh, two handed weapon. The same thing. So it works pretty well for all around. But we'll see. The next video, if I do make one about heist, won't be until this character is pretty much done at level 80. 85, I've decided to go that high. It will be like the finished video if we do one more. But you can see it's pretty easy to walk through everything. I've had only two real deaths on this character. The first death was like, because I forgot I had a leveling gear to equip. And then the other one's like, because I got stuck. Or ran off lane dash charges. But yeah, it's super easy to play this build. I would recommend Trapper or like Poison Concoction is really good. It does are probably the two easiest builds to play for people. It's just hard to find upgrades when you play in these events. Like you'll notice if you play this, finding upgrades is definitely really rare to come by. It's extremely annoying. But just want a quick update about what I thought about the event so far. What happened to the Guardian mess I made. But Bill's pretty good so far. Would recommend, you know, go with the Trapper. Go with the Poison Concoction, Witch Build. You'll clear this out extremely fast. You'll get done quickly. Get your stuff going. I will say, though, from level 1 to 49, the event is pretty boring. At 50, you start dropping your blueprints, and it does get much better. So just push the first 49 levels, get to 50. 
and then you'll fly through this event pretty quick because that's when you start getting a lot of experience through the um the contracts i think it's like level 60 set people were saying like level 70 you start flying in xp like 14 million an hour or something like that so that's when you'll start like really flying it was like 147 million i think people were getting on the leaderboards but you'll start flying xp once you get to that point it's just pushing to that so i want to quick update about this i think the atlas event will be much better than this one same with the delirium event I just wanted to give this one a try, and I do see why no one's playing this event whatsoever. But thank you for coming out today, and hope to see everyone on the next video.